So I'm not really sure what I want to say in this video, uh, but I wanted to make a video because I was like really on pain right now. Um, I should have got the tissue, but I don't know how to handle it. I haven't eaten, so I stopped eating Monday night. No, 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 I ate dinner. So I stopped eating Tuesday. Um, and then I haven't really, maybe, trigger warning. Uh, so Tuesday, I don't know if I ate, I had to eat something. Tuesday, I forced myself to eat lunch. So I had like a quarter cup of cottage cheese with some protein powder and some strawberries cut up in it and then some carrots. Wednesday, I had an orange. Thursday, I had like a few grape or cherry tomatoes, and then um, I think that might have been it. And then today, which is Friday, I had a uh, half of a peach, and I had like um, I don't know what they are. I think they're by Ritz, but they're like kind of like cracker chips. They're like air popped. I don't know. Uh, but again, if you didn't listen to my trigger warning earlier, trigger warning. So 21 of those is 130 calories. So I had like, probably had like 15 of them. And then um, that's it. And I'm starving. My stomach is roaring. Like it's so loud. But I just, I don't want to eat. Like it just, it's, I have my eating disorder. I can't eat. Can't eat, can't eat, can't eat. And I kept like going and whatever. I don't know. And then life just sucks because it's like all I want right now. Because I don't have anybody here. I don't have anyone. And life just really sucks. There's like a picture of him on my windowsill. I didn't take it out. And I took like the note. Um, life just really sucks. And all I wanted was to like see my family. Uh, my birthday is at the end of this month, and it's after Thanksgiving, um, and so I was going home for Thanksgiving, and then I was going to head back here on my birthday. My birthday is the Saturday after, but I had taken off uh, for work on the Wednesday before, and they came up to me yesterday to tell me that I don't have that day. So that probably means I don't get to go home for Thanksgiving, for my birthday, and now I don't know, like, when I'm going to see my family again. And, like, the only thing that was, like, getting me through this week was just the fact that, like, I can go home and I can have, like, my friends and I can have, like, my family. And, like, even if I didn't, like, leave my bedroom, like, I knew that they were within reach, you know? But now I don't have that. And I don't know when I'm going to get to see them again. It's probably not going to be until Christmas. <laughs> Sorry. So, I don't know when I'm going to get to go home and see my family again. I don't think it's going to be till Christmas. And I just feel so alone. I feel unbelievably alone. And, like I said, I um, don't have friends here. And so, the only connection that I had live where I am living now was him and his friends so um because he was born and raised here so um I don't have anything you know like I lost everything any type of social connection I had is 100% gone and I feel very alone and there's nobody to come here and tell me things are going to be okay there's nobody here to give me a hug, there's nobody here to do anything, there's nobody, like, there's nobody within reach, and, like, I have my friends at home, whatever, but it's not the same as having somebody around the corner, you know, and I'm just so anxious because he lives two blocks away, and I'm just like, am I gonna run into him? Probably, probably a lot, and, like, 
it just all sucks a lot. Uh, yesterday, actually, I I did have something else. I drank one and a half liters of wine. It wasn't even that great of wine. It was peach. It was a peach moscato, but it was like kind of. It tasted watered down, but and I think considering I drank a liter and a half, I should have been a lot worse than I was. Um, so I think it actually was watered down, but. Um, I'm hurting really, really deeply, and I feel very alone, and I'm having intrusive thoughts, um, even just like, um, like I'm considering doing things I haven't done in such a long time, like since high school, and then like, I, um, this morning I woke up, and I was just trying to throw up that there's nothing for me to throw up like there's nothing in there you know I was just trying to throw up throw up throw up and I couldn't do it and I was like kind of happy nothing came up because I know it would have been pure bile um and I didn't have much time to try because I had like I was I woke up out of bed when I was supposed to have already left like I got out of bed like 10 minutes after so I tried once I got out of bed and couldn't get anything and then I had to go to work um and I'm just really hurting and I'm really broken and I just don't think that I'm ever going to be okay Ever. And if I'm never going to be okay, then why are we doing this? It's a waste of everybody's time, especially my own. My nose is so itchy right now, all day. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> I am very much struggling. I'm very much, uh, like I said, I'm just hurting really deeply. And who do I have to comfort me but Ed? So I don't eat. I already lost a good amount of weight too. Like, not enough, obviously. But Considering it's only been four days. Oh, actually, that's not a lot at all. Whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah. The, thing, the one thing I am proud of myself, though, is like, I'm forcing myself to go to work. I haven't taken a day off, even though I fucking tried to take a day off and it was denied. Um, and then also just the fact that I... Um, My dog. There's something with her. Um, oh, I don't want to walk her for shit. I do not want to walk her whatsoever. I just want to be in bed crying and thinking about like how every second of life is just one step closer to death. <laughs> and um, do not want to be walking her is my point of the story. But I've been walking her. She's not getting good walks. She's not getting long walks, but she's getting to go outside and she's getting fresh air. And I think she knows I'm, I'm hurting. I know she knows I'm hurting. Um, because like usually she's barking at me by a certain time to take her for a walk. And the other day, like I hadn't taken her for a walk. I was trying, I was like talking myself out of it. And, uh, she was just fine with it. And then I said, because then I usually go to go outside. Do you want to go for a walk? And she'll like jump up and she just jumps and like off my bed and runs to the door and is jumping in circles and all excited. And I said it to her and she just stayed still. <laughs> like she's like, you're bullshitting me. So, I, I mean, she knows I'm hurting. Um, but I'm just in pain. Like I am actually in pain. My chest hurts. Um, my stomach's like easy I have a headache 
And I can't take anything. I mean, I can take something, but I don't want to like, really fuck up my stomach, you know? So, on her bark of a note, I'm going to go and honestly probably just sob. And yeah. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.